everybody, Dixon back. Um, you know, every day I see another white person harassing the fuck out of innocent black people and black people that are forced to carry themselves with, with dignity in, in dealing with this harassment. Whereas most of us would just knock the fuck out of these people if they were doing it to us. But because our society and the police is so racist, they're forced to be kind and gentle and which is courageous in itself and amazing that they're able to have such composure in such a sick, twisted, racist society. But every day I see white people terrorizing people of color, especially black folks and brown folks. Every day there's a new story. Women, so a white lady doesn't want a, a black guy to enter his own damn apartment building. She's going to police him, harass him, um, call the police on him, potentially getting him killed. Why do they do this? Why do they call the police? All these white people all over America calling the police on black people. Why? Because they know the racist cops will support them. They know that they know, they know the police are racist. So they know when they call the police, they're going to be supported. And often they are, and they potentially are getting people of color killed because if, if they do one little thing wrong, or sometimes if they do nothing wrong, they're being murdered by the police. And so white people ask, some white people that, are, that, that care ask, why is this happening? Why are so many white people harassing black people? Why are so many police killing unarmed black people? Well, the reason is because we have an issue in this country called white supremacy. And every single one of us is exposed to it and indoctrinated by it. It started about 500 years ago in Europe and it spread all over the whole fucking world. That's a reality. And it's in this nation, in America. And it has been for many, 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 many years since, since its inception. We all know if you think this country literally was made for white people. So I'm talking to white people now because people of color understand these things. So I'm talking to my white brothers and sisters. Why is it? that our nation is so fucking racist. And if our nation is so fucking racist, why is it we're not doing anything to stop it? Many reasons, I guess. Greed. White people are greedy. We've been taught greed. We're, we're colonizers. And we, our, our culture is about colonizing and about taking from other people. That's part of white culture, sadly. European culture is about the colonialization of other peoples and other nations, which is about genocide, rape, and enslavement. That's the reality. It's tough. It's tough, but it's true. It's true, white people. That's who we are. That's what we have done, and that's what we aggressively and passively, aggressively, overtly, and covertly are doing to people of color right now. And that's what we've always done. And that's a reality. White supremacy is a reality. And white supremacy is the most neglected evil of our time. We had the, the enslavement of Africans. And then we, we, we freed them legally. And then what did we do to address the racism? Nothing. We have never addressed the systemic and the cultural white supremacy that thrives in our culture. We've never done anything to actually deprogram white America. Nothing, not a goddamn thing. And, and, and unless there's a, so why is that? Because white people are greedy. They want their privilege. They want, they want the, everything to be biased toward them. They enjoy it. White people are selfish. Sorry, the video cut out, but I wanted to continue. I just said white people are selfish, and I, and I explained to you how and why we're being selfish. So what are we going to do to address the most neglected evil of our time? We've never done anything to, to address it. So I believe that our nation should have a program to deprogram us, people, white people, and everybody from the indoctrination of white supremacy. I don't know that we can change the greed that's in white people's heart, but we, but I do know that it's learned. Racism is learned. White supremacy is learned. 
you know, the, the fear and the stereotypes that we see white people in people of color, you know, when police see a black person, they often see a stereotype. When white people see a black person or a brown person, they don't see a human first. First, we're taught to see a stereotype, not the humanity, not the, the way that we don't prejudge. We're not taught any of that. So this legacy of white supremacy has to be deprogrammed in our culture. It has to be dismantled. And so we need a program. We could start with our children. We could, start, we could teach adults too. But I believe there should be anti-racism 101 in every single school, whether it's middle school or high school, I don't know, or elementary, but we've got to deprogram our society. So I, I wanted to, for white people that actually give a fuck and are interested in white racial responsibility, I'm going to post with this video seven steps that I think you can do that can help you get there and to get started. And that's all I have to say because I don't know what else to say. But I, I just want to reiterate that white America, it's time to find morality and to truly live up to a nation that is about freedom and justice for all, not just freedom and justice for white people.